What's up friends, foes, subbies? I wanted to make this video yesterday, but honestly, I did not have it in me. I've never addressed this, but uh, the Flea Hive group has been accusing us of cyberbullying. And they posted a list of all or some of the women that make videos on Brianna. Or should I say like on Ya. <laughs> Anyways, um, I didn't address it because I'm like, I know I'm not a cyber bully. I haven't done anything other than point out the lies that Brianna tells. That's it. Uh, using her own content. That's that's the, the part that I just don't get. How am I cyber bullying somebody when I'm not making up fake receipts? Anyhow, now all of a sudden, the group has decided to be on a positive note. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But I honestly think the only reason why they're calling this off is because Johnnell is being affected. He's being affected in a way where people are looking at him sideways. He's a sicko. He used baby Amora. He threatened Latruth's life. He looks really bad out in these streets. Oh, and how could I forget? He was fucking some chick that he met a couple of months ago. And, you know, just the fact that this woman exposed the things that she did. It, I know it's really getting under Brianna's skin, but we're not going to know that because she's putting on this whole front for us. But we'll get into that in a second. I just wanted to read this. This post comes from Amora, you know, Brianna's number one stan. This woman is in her 50s. She's married. She's former military. She has a business where she's a travel agent, yet she has so much time to do things like call people's jobs to get them fired because they disagree with Brianna. Even if you're in the comments and you say something about Brianna, they will look for you. And they will call your job. They will dox you. They dox me. Now, the reason why I am addressing this is because this is straight bullshit. They're all about positivity, yet all of the things that they have done are still on Amora's page, including my personal information. Okay, so no, fuck that shit. Listen up. Brianna is in a good space. And God truly does have his arms around her. She wants nothing but positive vibes. She doesn't want her supporters fighting back and forth with people on the internet and losing their pages because of it. She doesn't want her supporters defending her or commenting negatively on her ex multiple pages. <laughs> you notice how they had to say her ex is multiple pages. Brianna has multiple pages as well. That's straight fucking bullshit. Latruth has... Mr. Uh, LaTruth and he has Robert Hampton. Um, they're just trying to pin the other pages like Sage in the City on LaTruth. That's this is a slick fucking shit that they do that I can't stand. Brianna has multiple pages and you want to know whose pages she has. She has your page, Amora, because anything Brianna tells you to post, you post it. She has all of y'all pages. So shut the fuck up. Y'all just doing her dirty work and she has her hands in it. But nobody's going to know. You're the ones that are going to face the consequences. But let me continue to read this bullshit. She's strong enough to block the noise because she has absolutely nothing to prove to anyone. She knows her supporters love her and will continue to support her despite the lies and hate coming from miserable people. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. She wants our support by liking, commenting, and sharing her content from her main page, Miss Brianna. She will no longer entertain anything negative pertaining to her breakup. It's over, it's done, and she's happy. No weapon formed against her will prosper. Thanks for all the support. I don't know about y'all, but I've heard it all before. This shit is not the first time Brianna has said man down, and then all of a sudden she tells them, to go back and attack, call CPS, do this and that. No, don't fall for this crap. The only reason why they're doing this is because Janelle is being affected. 
her and John L's relationship is probably really fucked up. Well, besides him cheating and, you know, calling her all types of names behind her back, <laughs> kicking her out so his new boo can come that he wanted to be his peace. Yeah, this woman said, Janelle wanted me to be his peace because he can't stand that bitch. She's just his sugar mama. Anyhow, the reason why they're doing this is because Janelle, again, is being affected. If you haven't paid attention, Brianna has been posting video after video after video of her and Janelle, old reels. It's kind of creepy if you ask me because Janelle is the one that cheated on you, but you keep posting him. And just professing your love for him. What's that about? That that shit is just weird to me. Anyhow, John L has just been living his life, posting himself being a groupie in New York with the Jizza, the Rizza, the Ghost Faith Killer. Nah, but seriously, um, I've heard it all before. And if you haven't, here you go. With that being said. Listen, y'all know I stand for nothing but positivity. This tip for tat, this going back and forth, ain't it? Listen, I know y'all mad and I know y'all get upset when y'all see people talking about me, talking about my kids. But the best thing we're going to do is stay silent. The best thing we're going to do is stay quiet. The best thing we could do is ignore. The best thing we can do is not engage. Not engage. I'm not driving. Look at y'all. Y'all all in the business. to not engage listen to me y'all love me i love y'all too but i did not know that we was in groups talking about people kids i did not know that we was in groups posting people addresses and, and posting people phone numbers and posting people um their jobs and calling people jobs i did not know any of this and it's getting out of hand. And I understand that y'all are like, okay, well, they posting us. They posting our stuff. Listen, at this point, it's becoming a tit for tat battle between people who don't even know each other. In the beginning, it was supposed to be a positive thing where, okay, we're going to create this breed group. And when I got in, I was like, oh, this is a positive thing. Then I started seeing people posting about my ex over and over and over and over. I don't want to see that man. So guess what I did? I got out of the group. Because when you're trying to heal and move on, you don't want to see that. Out of sight, out of mind. And that's what I did. I got out of every single group. Now, I don't know what people have been doing since these groups have, since I got out of these groups. But people been calling me today, DMing me today, like, stuff is getting out of hand, stuff is getting out of control. And I understand that people support me and they love me. And I understand that some stuff that y'all see, these people that y'all really y'all don't know them they don't know y'all and y'all going in for me and i love y'all for that but i want y'all to stop that right now right now please do not engage in nothing negative do not defend me ignore do not defend me from this day forward do not defend me the best defending you can do for me is to silence yourself don't comment on their stuff don't repost nothing they say don't share their posts don't engage at all. Don't engage at all. To defend me is to love me and, and uplift me with positivity. I want to see nothing but people sharing positive stuff. I want to see y'all in the comments showing nothing but positive love and, and responding with and nothing but positivity. This negative stuff, I don't stand for and I don't like. So please, cease it all. Cease it all. If there's any breed groups out here that is not positive, please delete every single negative group because I do not stand for that. I do not like negativity. I do not like negativity. It's a lot of things surrounding. It's a lot of lies going around about me. Guess what, baby? Don't defend me. My greatest power right now is me being silent. My greatest power right now is me being silent. I defended myself for three months. Person that matter. But this, neg this negative stuff, I'm not feeling, y'all. I'm not feeling. I really need y'all to stop. Cease this shit now. We're not doing no back and forth. We're not going to keep building their platforms. Let's, you want to help me? You want to you wanna support me? Let's cease. Let no more getting on their YouTubes, being in the comments, defending and, and talking shit to them. Ignore them. Because that's what they want. They feeding off y'all comments. They feeding off every time y'all repost them. They feeding off every time y'all go tip for tat and talk about them. 
Forget them. Forget all of them folks. Forget him. Forget my ex. Let's not, listen, let's not give them no more energy. Our energy right now needs to be on nothing but positivity going forward. I don't want to see no negativity. Don't tag me in nothing negative. Don't tag me in making fun of people. Don't tag me in nothing that has nothing to do with negativity. Positive vibes only. We are all grown. And to see these people who are trying to so-called bully me 45 years old with long records, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> like I said, heard it all before. Brianna has called this off multiple times and then she tells them to come back on and attack, put addresses out. And yes, I have proof that Brianna made Naya post Lita Love's address. Brianna has made many people do many things. I just can't wait till they come out and tell the truth. It'll set them free. But anyways, she starts posting old things yesterday out of nowhere. And a lot of people were bothered by this post. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just add this into the video. You guys, this is a very old video. I don't know why she posted it. I did not like what she did to her daughter. This is not a mama's energy. This is big, irresponsible sister type energy. Um, my personal opinion. But yeah, the pranks she pulls on her kids, no bueno. I got $166. You can win this if you can move the money without moving the water. Uh, what do you think you can do it? Yeah. And let's see. You moving the bottle. You gotta make sure ain't no glue in there. It might be some glue. So look inside the bottle. Make sure ain't no glue or nothing on there. No. It ain't that. Don't seem like good, Annie. Well, how can you move it without? Uh, you think you can move it? Yeah. Without spilling the water? Yeah. You sure? Look at it. What, what's that right there? A cut. It's just going to be half money. What's that right there? Ain't me. Right there. Ain't me. This is actually a challenge, you guys. I guess Brianna chose to pull a prank on her child versus doing it like most parents would do it. Anyway, let me show you how to do this. Our dad has a mystery challenge for us to win $100, so he's just going to explain it for us. But this $100 thing looks really fake. It's not fake. It's real. It okay. looks fake. It doesn't No. Mind. All right, guys. So, two items. I'm going to show you how... That's With your glass. friends, you can win a hundred dollars every time. I thought that was plastic. What? That's glass. It's glass. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a hundred dollars. You can win it if you can figure out how to remove the hundred dollars from that bottle. With the bottle on top. With water in it. Without touching the bottle, your hands cannot what touch do you mean how to the bottle. It? So you have to try to. Figure out a way to get the hundred dollars out from underneath the bottle without touching the bottle. Oh, no. You're each gonna get a couple tries. You can think about it, and then we'll see if anyone can do it. And if you get it out without touching the bottle, you will get the hundred dollars. Hmm. What do you mean get it out? Like we can't knock over the bottle? You cannot knock over the bottle. Oh, no. Can you touch the bottle? No, you cannot oh, touch no. the bottle. Can you fold the only the thing you can touch is the dollar. Can you fold it? Bill. Can you fold the? Yeah, can we fold it? You can just she move. almost touched it. What are you doing? Oh, she's trying to move. She's trying to move. Oh, she's doing the other side. No touching the bottom. No touching the bottom. What if you accidentally touch it? Oh! We got the piece of paper. Okay? okay. Some short amount of rolling here. Okay. And we're going to gently move the bottom. Oh, my gosh. That's a good dollar job. bill. Um, what? No fingers, so you can see I'm moving the dollar bill. No way. So here we go. So we're moving <laughs> it. No! Maddie was so close, she had it, but you can see the bottle is moving without falling over. I'm rolling it over. Here we go. I'll do it. I'm trying to do it with one hand, just so you guys can see. That seems like so easy. I thought it was like super complicated. Without touching. Without touching. <laughs> without touching. <laughs> yeah. It. The hundred dollars is out without moving it. Oh, I'm gonna go. Go. I'm going. Bye. Moving on to the next post. Another old post she posted, I don't know, whenever she starts talking about God, she starts posting her business, she starts posting old photos, you know something is wrong. But anyways, 
Do you guys remember this one? <laughs> So I let the video play out because I wanted to see if you guys noticed for yourselves. Brianna says that a driver came to pick her up because obviously she had a business deal that was about to go down. That was a major one, right? But if you listen real closely, the driver asked, where am I taking you to? What address is it? You can see Brianna's embarrassed, but she's live. She can't really do anything about it. She plays it off again and says, look, nothing but the best for the best. She wants you to believe that she has major things going for her. And here's another thing. She includes Ayana in her dirty work. She was like, should I tell them? Should I tell them what it is? And then she looks over to Ayana like, okay, bitch, play along. So Ayana has to play along. And then... Of course, in true Brianna fashion, wearing this fur coat, doing all this, <laughs> just doing the most to make us believe that you're doing amazing. The desperation is obviously there. I mean, they talk about Robert doing this stuff, but ignore that Brianna does it. Then she wants us to see that she's in a Rolls Royce. She keeps moving her head so that we could see the double R sign. 
Oh my God. If Cornball was a person. Oh, and last but not least, where the fuck is that wine deal? Because I've been waiting. Maybe it was with Tasha K. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chanel is living his best life in NYC. Child free, girlfriend free. Even when he got a girlfriend, he's still free. But yeah, he's not posting her at all. He's the one that did the dirt, but yet he gets to celebrate. That part I don't get. But if you hadn't seen his post, this dude really thinks he's part of Wu-Tang. It's actually creepy. I'm <laughs> so creepy, I'm going to share. I got 50. <laughs> I say I got 50. Breaking right now at noon. I trying but belly's an interesting story too i kind of bully my way Since he want to be Jizza so bad, Giselle <laughs> posts about another actor that ended up deboing his way into his acting role. And he was so excited to tag the guy and say, that's the same thing I did, God. Like, I did that shit. I just got my, my rope. Listen, such a groupie tagging other celebrities that are actually real accredited actors. You literally just got lucky. But here's his story. How did you get the role via social media? Well, I seen a script and then I was like, okay, which one of these characters look like me? Jizza, all right, cool, Jizza. Um, I looked at his uh, music video called I Got Your Back mm -hmm. and I created my own music video just like how he did his and I put two interviews together of me speaking like him, Whoa. made it go viral, Ghostface seen it, showed it to RZA, RZA called me on set. Yeah. Mm. The look on his face, that expression was so irritating to me for whatever reason. <laughs> I did that. I deserve a cookie. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just, I, I'm sorry. Maybe I am a bully. Took a little pit stop to Pretty Bree's page, and it seems like she's on a date. On a date, kind of nervous. Hope he ain't got no girl this time. <laughs> this girl is so shady, and I love it. Like, you can't be mad at her. She told Janelle what type of person she was. According to her, she said Janelle wanted her and needed her to be his peace. And she was like, I can never be your peace. I'll be your chaos, though. And she sure did keep her word. 
Lyanya went live last night on Instagram and she was on her positivity soft girl era bullshit. Anyway, she was asking like the viewers questions like, how do you view uh, love? How was this when you were a child? What do you know love to be? Um, and then she starts giving advice about not arguing in front of children, but healthy arguments are good. I thought back to how Rihanna had her children involved in all of her drama between her and the truth split, putting them on camera, asking them questions, uh, also crying in front of them and letting them hear things that they shouldn't hear. But now she's giving you guys advice. This shit is comical to me, if you ask. I didn't record the entire thing, but I can tell you there was a part where someone asked, about Janelle and she got real real defensive she said don't ask about Janelle it's none of your business and she was really like off and on one second super positive next second she's being really catty and rude to her supporters if you were in the live you know what I'm talking about and because we are our children's first teacher I feel like that's the only way they can learn and know how to maneuver and how to handle a healthy and learn how to communicate as well because a healthy argument is actually teaching your child how to have healthy communication because if you can have a healthy argument that means that person is getting their point across and you're actually listening to the intentions of the conversation and you're not just listening to respond if that makes sense if you are having a healthy debate argument or disagreement or whatever and that person is communicating accurately you're communicating accurately you're not arguing if you can show that, I feel like your kids should be able to be around that. But if you don't know how to communicate without yelling, then maybe not so. <laughs> but I feel like healthy arguments are something that kids should see because we are our children's first teacher. If we shy them away from things, where do you think they're going to learn it at? They're going to learn it at school. They're going to learn it from their friends. They're going to learn it from YouTube. They're going to learn it from TikTok. So I'd rather be my child's first teacher versus the internet or their friends from school. Because, baby, trust and believe because you want to shy away and hide them from certain things. Trust and believe when they go to school, them little kids who not, who parents not shying them away is going to be teaching your children what you should have taught them at first at home. Because it'd be some kids out here that's on their own and doing their research and doing whatever they want to do and a little bit more advanced than your child and they're going to teach your child some things and they're going to come home repeating some things that you be like where you get this from and they got it from school so I'd rather be my child's first teacher than to shy them away from everything in the world now my kids walking around and don't know To be honest, you got to update it though. That's a lot of sense. Some kids don't have two parents. You're right. Some kids don't have two parents. But some people remarry. Some people get into another relationship. And that's that. But I feel like they should be able to witness healthy situations so that they can know. Huh? What? Can you have, like, can you just tell about one of my friends, just act like, you just say, um, Girl, yeah, Lauren has to go, and she has to do something. That's all. And you want me to lie? Just say that. What does the Bible say? Shana la. What? Shana la. Thy shana la? Yeah. Oh. So you want me to lie and sin for you? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am, don't have my turkey. You know what you should do? What? We should be honest. Truth gets you far. Whether it hurts or not, whether it hurts somebody else's feelings, always remain in your truth and stand in your truth and communicate how you really feel, regardless if it hurts somebody else's feelings. Because you don't want to sacrifice your own feelings for somebody else to make somebody else happy. So you can tell them the truth. Hey, I don't want to go. Okay. Okay? Always be honest. I don't even have to say a word. I don't. I know. I know. Y'all go ahead. Go off in the chat. This girl is so funny. And she looks over for validation after she teaches her child that lying is a sin. And then off to scraping again. I thank God every morning when I wake up. Literally. Every moment. And I got alarms that go off throughout the day so I can thank God for my moments and my experiences that I'm having right now. I couldn't thank God. 
for a better place in my life, a better time in my life, a better love in my life. I'm, I'm extremely happy. So she goes on talking about how happy she is, how the grass is greener on the side she's on. And someone then asks her a question, not in a rude way. And she goes off. It's like, Jekyll and Hyde with this chick. Oh, serious question. Why you need an alarm to thank God? Because we get busy throughout the day and we tend to forget. Duh. I don't know about you. You might sit on Instagram all day and twirl your fingers. I don't. My life is busy. I got a lot going on. That was so unnecessary. Like, that person did not even ask in a rude way. But, of course, she gets very defensive. She goes on to start talking about the haters and God and all her blessings, you know, you guys know. She's booked and busy paying for her to look booked and busy, period. And yes, she has a, a team that books her for these jobs and the news station and whatnot, all on a false story. Because they want my attention so badly, but they're not getting it. So let them keep watching. Let them keep watching the glow up because what God say? He gonna prepare my table in front of my what? <laughs> God said he gonna prepare my table in front of my who? My what? My enemies. So let them keep watching. We not blocking nobody. Watch me, baby. Keep watching me shine and glisten and glow and grow. Okay? Because as I'm elevating, you gonna still stay stagnant in the same. So... It is what it is. That's why y'all miserable. Because you're so busy worried about what I'm doing in my life. And talking shit all the time. And you want to talk, 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 junk. And you ain't doing nothing but blocking your blessings coming after me. <laughs> blocking your blessings coming after me, child. I'm going to get my blessings. <laughs> and nobody going to block mine, but you blocking yours. You blocking yours, honey. I thought your skincare line was supposed to block pimples from coming, but I digress. Why you ain't being blessed? That's why you ain't. God ain't blessing no mess, and you messy. When you stop being messy, you will start receiving your blessings. Until then, be prepared to stay stuck. <laughs> be prepared to stay stuck, honey, because you ain't going nowhere. God is not blessing no mess, so go on, stand. Ain't going right, and every time you wake up, you just stuff just not going right. Everything go wrong. By the time you wake up, stuff is just wrong. <laughs> you blocking your own blessings, baby. Worry about yourself. Talk to God about yourself, and repent. Don't worry about me. You worrying about me ain't gonna help you. I don't need to reevaluate nothing in my life. Reevaluate you. Because you stuck on Big Bree. All eyes on Bree. <laughs> you stuck on me and worry about what I got going on. It's sad. When I go to the bathroom, do you feel it? What I eat, do it make you poop? If it don't, carry on. Hey, Ray of Soul. I think they don't need to help me. I'm good. I know what I'm doing. I don't need nobody help on here. You can't give me no help when your life ain't together. Sweep your own porch first. I'm good over here. Good. I'm not taking no advice, no opinions from nobody on the internet. Only person I need answers from is God and God steady, continuing to answer my prayers every day. When I say reveal and remove, God is doing just that. I don't need y'all to come on here and give me no advice. I don't need it. I ain't asked for it. I didn't ask for it. Pray for yourself, love. Don't pray for me. I don't know who you pray to. Hey, Sassy Red. She then goes on to mention and brag about her being on a panel with Megan Good. And um, I just thought to myself, how the fuck does this bitch keep getting by? Like, how? It's just fucked up that she's using this story and running with it and nobody is really doing research so you guys know the same way they would do us they would contact the host of the show or whoever it is to like bash 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 that's what they would do to the truth 
But do you see us do stuff like that to sabotage? No, but maybe we should. Um, bomb panel is me, Megan Good, Tamara, um, few more, few more good women y'all know. Hope to see y'all there. Hope to get y'all tickets. The elevation is amazing. It's not elevation. It's your team. Anyway, she goes on to speak about us believing rumors and um, how basically people are dumb for believing the John L shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, she's really delusional. Um, most of us that did see the Tasha K interview or heard the audio with Tasha K and Pretty Brie, you can tell that her relationship with John L was actually like a brief sexual one for a couple of months. And John L did confide in her and his booty hole. So anyway, um, Brianna, believe what you want. Stay with John L. We're just going to continue to laugh at you. Nobody's jealous. Nobody. So this part of the video, I'm going to dedicate to my good sis, TC Chronicles. She posted this video because it really bothered her to see that no matter what Robert does, he tries to be positive. There's always people that are trying to bring him down. There's always people literally throwing out the abuse allegations, calling him a loser, all the things that his ex-wife or soon to be ex-wife has called him. People just throw at him. And um, because of that, I just wanted to show you guys what resilience looks like. He might look corny to you, but I tell you, this is a strong man because me personally, I would have broke by now. I would have been in shambles. I don't know about you guys, but it's really tough just walking around with that S on your chest, that scarlet letter. You know, so I got structure, keep the posture a little bit different. Damn, what up, what up folks? I see you trying to compete with me, boy. No, no sound. Hey, be cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Be is, that a, is that a Versace pillow? It, it you know what it is. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, boy, my, my Gemini too, my B-Day, June 20th. What up? Gemini Nation. What? Are you on the phone? Got the tattoos, got the tattoos. Yeah, man. Yeah. You need you gotta yeah. be like me, man. Nah, you trying to be like me. I already see what's going on. You gotta get like me, big nah, you dog. You gotta be like me, man. Come on, man. You see me? Huh? All right, all right. Talk your shit, boy. See me, man. We finna rock with it. Come here, Smush. Let me show you my dog. Smush. Yeah, that's, that's my Yo, nigga. He's gonna smush. show y'all smush, man. He's gonna show y'all smush. Look at smush. Is a moron that don't want to come to his house. Man, be quiet. Smush. smush. The truth, you're a that's crazy. Look at smush. All right, though, man. You be cool, gang. Yeah, man. That's why y'all never be I don't hear nonsense, man. I don't hear nonsense. Y'all never be nonsense, man. Free go. I don't hear nonsense. Man. Free go! Uh, what's man. wrong with you? What's wrong with that one? Hey, tell her to take her medication, man. Tell her to take her medication, man. That's crazy. You don't wake up angry like that. So let's address this. Why doesn't Baby Amora want to be around her daddy? Why doesn't she want to go to Robert's house, like Brianna says? Well, she's a child. She's a child who is surrounded by her siblings and her mother and her mother's new, I guess, replacement for her daddy. I don't, however you want to look at it. I really feel like Janelle is using this girl. We've called it from day one. Uh, the young lady, Pretty Bree, confirmed it. She said that he does not pay for anything. Her birthday trip was paid for. She paid for it. He did not. And we can all see with our own eyes that it's not reciprocated, not even on social media. He does not brag about her being his girlfriend 
on social media. She does. He never put her for his woman crush Wednesday, but she keeps posting him as her man crush Monday. It's even when it's not Monday, she posts. So, yeah, um, we're laughing at you. That's that's what we're doing. So anyways, Amora is not used to being around her dad for many reasons because of the ongoing divorce. Uh, Brianna is not somebody that I guess is a good baby mother to deal with. It's so funny that she's not like the type of person that she claimed to be. Remember back in the day when she was making videos talking about bitter baby moms and how she would never be like that? That's when she was shading the truth's first child's mother. And now she's literally doing everything that she complained about and more. So yeah, Amora does not want to be around her dad. That's straight BS. Amora's a child, okay? And let me just give you an example. What they portrayed the other day was straight BS. And right after I play that video with Johnelle and Brianna manipulating the viewers, I'm going to play something that many of you probably saw a long time ago, probably forgot about, but it is of LaTruth and baby Amora. While baby Amora has an issue with her mammy, or should I say mommy dearest. So you guys... They could keep going. They can keep pointing out things about the truth. And guess what? I'll continue to point out things about her. Their master. It just, this could keep going. And another thing, my information, my son is still on their page. Do you really think I'm going to stop? Do you really think I'm going to stop? It's just ridiculous. I, I went through too much. The the doxing, whatnot, don't fall for this bullshit. And shout out to Sage in the City for this post before I get into this last video. This is Sage in the City's response to Nate, a.k.a. Amora, a.k.a. Rihanna's biggest stan ever. She says, no one has to bully anyone, but each of you will be held accountable for the illegal crimes you have committed on this app. You can't run when things get too hot for you. How convenient. Yes, and that is exactly what I thought. I mean, they want to stop this because it's getting way too hot for them. Johnnell made a fool of himself. He should apologize for threatening LaTruth's life. Yes, we all have the recording. So you can't, and so does Facebook. You can't put out open threats to people to harm them, to take their lives over some BS. And then you use their child as ammunition to hurt them and think that people are going to just forget it. You guys can continue to post your videos and think that we're going to forget. No, only the blind will forget. The real moms and dads out there, the real victims of domestic violence will never forget what Brianna and Janelle did. And guess what? I'm not going to let you. Daddy outside. Come on, look. Look at daddy. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on, Damn, man. Mm -hmm. I tried. I just had to put this video out as a reminder to show you the dirty games that this... Oh, my God, that pot belly. Anyhow, the dirty games that these narcs play, okay? Um, when I tell you, I'm going to make you feel so stupid for even doing this, Brianna and John L. This next clip will basically shut them down uh this child was used as a pawn in their game of chess but they're really playing checkers um if they're using this to make robert look bad please help me to understand what this next video 
that I'm about to play says about Brianna. Please. Children will be children. They will show favoritism to mommy and or daddy whenever it suits them best. Um, you tell me how you feel about this next video. I did not watch it to its entirety, but I got the gist that LaTruth was a great dad. And I think that's why Brianna hates him so much. Because she lost him. You in time out. You are in time out. You are in time out. Whenever you say you sorry, I will take you down. Okay, as long as you keep doing that, you're going to sit up on that refrigerator. Okay, let's see how long you do this. Lord, please send one of your angels spirits in here right now. Clean this madness out because I don't know what's going on. We need some holy water, man. Yeah. Mosky. Mosky. You like it up there? You don't? You want to get down? Do you want to get down? Huh? Yes? I'll say sorry for hitting you, mama. Mama right there. Say sorry. I said say sorry and I'll get you off the refrigerator. Say sorry to mama. Say sorry, mama. Say sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry. Oh my God, bro. She gonna be up there all day. You're not supposed to hit your mama. Mosky. Mosky. You want me to pop your hand? You want me to pop your hand? You want me to pop your hand? Say sorry, mama. Say sorry, mama. Okay. All right. Terrible too. You gonna grow out of that on your birthday? You about to be three in July. You about to be three in July. Is you gonna grow out of that? Say sorry, mama. Say sorry, mama. You said no? Say sorry, mama. You want your mama's cell phone? You want phone? Play game? You want um, baby shark? You want baby shark? You want baby shark? Do you want baby shark? You want baby shark? Baby shark, da 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 da. Baby shark, da 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 da. Baby shark, da 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 da. Baby shark. What is that? Ah ah. What is that? Ah ah. What does that do? That's what got you up on that refrigerator. Ah. Say baby shark, and I'll get you down with baby shark. <laughs> You're so mean, bro. Say baby shark, and I'll take you off the refrigerator. Say baby shark. Say baby shark. You is a meanie, man. Come on, put your, put your leg right here. Put your leg right here. All right, give me your arm. Come on. Why are you so mean? Huh? 
What's wrong? You gonna say something? Say sorry. You still being mean back there? Say sorry. Say sorry to mommy. Mommy, come here. Come here. Say sorry to mommy. <laughs> Say sorry. Say sorry. Say sorry for hitting mama. Say mommy, I'm sorry for hitting you. Well, I'll become her person. Mommy, <laughs> mommy, mommy. Say, say sorry. sorry. Mommy. Say I'm sorry it. Sorry for hitting you. Say sorry, mama. Say it. Say sorry, mommy. Say it. John, let them tears come out of you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> got tears on me. That's, those are healing tears, though. That's what I'm, I'm going to take them out. This is healing tears. Thank you for the tears on my face. Okay, baby? Okay? Oh, thank you for the healing tears, okay? Love you. You okay? Got me looking like I'm, I'm crying right now. Look. Look at the tear. It looks like I'm crying now. Her tear. Be good, okay? It's okay. Musky, you okay? It's better. Mosky. Momo. Momo, look at me. Look at me. Love you. Love you. Okay. Mean butt. Say sorry. Say sorry, Mama. There you go. Oh, give me a hug. You have to stop being mean, okay? Okay? Mosky, stop being mean. Be nice. You're a good girl. Okay. You got pee pee? Love you. Okay, go pee pee. I love you. Love you. I love you. I love you more. This was just to prove that children will be children, okay? Amora didn't want to go to her mama. She did not want to, you know, listen to mama. But she listened to daddy. She went and hugged her mom after he disciplined her. And you see how they do what they do? They manipulate that child. We don't know what they're telling the child about their father. Well, obviously, Rihanna's telling the baby girl that to just call speaks volumes her daddy on Robert. the type of person she is. And it really speaks volumes on the type of person Johnnell is. He definitely deserves Brianna and all the karma that comes along with her. And once their relationship fails, which it already has, and her subscribers, her stands, her obsessed cult members are all going to turn on Sir Clonell. Or should I call him the Jizza? Anyways, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts below. How do you feel about this? You understand my point? Like, the child is a child. They probably took her away from playing her Roblox game. They probably said, oh, we're going to go to Disney World with your brother and sister, but you got to go with your daddy. And then they turned on the camera and strategically posted this to make him look bad. I mean, either that was way, a poor attempt to make Latruth look like a deadbeat dad. To be quite honest with you, he probably stays away from baby Amora because of Brianna and how dangerous she is and how ruthless she is. You got to keep in mind that she has threatened Latruth and told him to watch his back. You got to keep in mind that they're still going through a divorce proceeding. He's probably waiting for the judge to tell him what what's next you know so yeah 
Um, thank you guys for your time, your patience, and again, your view, your support. I'll catch you on the next video. But yeah, let me know how you feel down below. All right. Peace. I know, I know I ended the video and I'm over here coming back with this. I wanted to run this back for you guys for a reason. I decided I'm not going to try to fix and edit the, the voice and the um, visuals. My audio is out of sync. When I was screen recording, I accidentally screen recorded way too fast. If you hit the button and then you, you press play to whatever video it is, it does have your video out of sync with the audio. Unfortunately, you guys just going to have to deal with it. I don't have the patience to go back to edit. I have a very busy day today and I just wanted to put this out here for you guys. So with that being said, I want you to listen to John L real quick and then I'm going to read to you what um, his management said. How did you get the role via social media? Well, I seen a script and then I was like, okay, which one of these characters look like me? Jizza, all right, cool, Jizza. Um, I looked at his uh, music video called I Got Your Back mm -hmm. and I created my own music video just like how he did his and I put two interviews together of me speaking like him, Whoa. made it go viral, Ghostface seen it, showed it to RZA, RZA called me on set. Under Johnnell's interview with MTV, Smoke Mirrors Productions writes two months ago and it says, Note that this kid never paid me for getting him on the show or any of his agents. Paid for his Ubers to and from set. When it was time to be paid, he took the 10% fee set aside for his agents slash manager, me. And he said, kids, a joke. Won't be on the big screen long. He has paid nobody. He gives the Wu-Tang Clan and production staff a bad name. So this is the big stepper that Brianna upgraded to. <laughs> the big stepper that we're all jealous of. Okay. Anyways, y'all, I just had to throw that in just as a reminder that Janelle is definitely Brianna's karma. Again, thank you for being here. If I keep doing this, I will never end this video. I know, I know. Now I understand why they hate me so much. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next one.